What's up, y'all? Of course, you know, this is Bowlegged Lou. And we talk about giving back because we love to give. We love to give more than we love to receive. So right now, Full Force would like to pay tribute to Ernest Thomas. My boy Ernest is such a talented brother. Stage, screen, TV. You guys know him from the hit smash TV show, What's Happening, when he played the funny character with the thick bifocal glasses by the name of Raj. Roger Thomas, how are you? And then he changed it up a little bit by being in the sequel to the show. They threw Martin Lawrence in the mix and he was also the star of What's Happening Now. And who could forget when Ernest Thomas stole the whole episode of Martin when he played the African king who was trying to swipe Tisha Campbell's character of Gina for his own concubine. Who could also forget when Ernest Thomas played a slave in the smash historical TV miniseries Roots? Who could also forget when Ernest Thomas played the role in Malcolm X as Denzel Washington's character of Malcolm X, Ernest was his trusty, loyal comrade. They gave me a mission, but I couldn't do it. Who could also forget when Ernest played Mr. Omar in Everybody Hates Chris? Oh, yeah, yeah, he got stabbed on the subway. Didn't see it coming. Tragic, tragic. Who could also forget when Ernest Thomas played that funny character in that smash movie hit with Sidney Poitier, Bill Cosby, my girl, Cheryl Lee Ralph, and James Earl Jones was in that movie also, and Ernest Thomas played in the movie Piece of the Action. Who could also forget when Ernest Thomas was wearing his thick glasses and he portrayed the character in this popular commercial with Michael Jordan and Ernest played the character of Mars Blackman? No! And who could also forget when Ernest Thomas made his big TV comeback with this character? Did I do that? Okay, let me be serious. Of course, those last two was not Ernest Thomas. <laughs> but it was kind of funny. Kind of, maybe corny, but funny. I don't care. <laughs> and you know, one thing I got to give it to Ernest, you know, I love Ernest because his taste of music is fantastic. His favorite group of all time happens to be Full Force. So I'm grateful for that. But his favorite rapper of all time, I mean, I don't judge, but Ernest's favorite rapper, Vanilla Ice. Ernest's favorite duo singing group, Millie Vanilli. <laughs> Ernest's favorite lyrical rap song that he says has the most meaningful lyrics in the world of rap, this song by MC Hammer. You can't touch this. You can't touch this. Huh? Ernest also is big in politics and his favorite politician of them all happens to be this gentleman. Stank ass mother Ernest also loves today's music, but as much as he loves the music of this young lady, he loves her. He has a big, big, big crush. Well, she has a big, big, big crush. Well, she crushed him, and she goes by the name of Lizzo. I know you see it. Huh? Of course, you know, Ernest was a product of the 70s with all that great, great music and TV and movies and... One of his best, best friends in the 70s was Bruce Jenner. And one of his best, best friends is still Bruce Jenner. That's what you get for eating all those Wheaties, huh, Bruce? Huh, Ernest? Huh, Caitlyn Jenner? <laughs> God damn, I could punch you ass. I'll bust you in your mouth right now. Another thing I want to say about Ernest is that Ernest, besides being multi-talented and multifaceted, he's just a great, great person. Um, if 
any of you knows Ernest's life story or of a capsule of his life story, make sure you go online and check out Unsung Hollywood. You know, the story of what's happening behind the scenes. And you know, Ernest gives his testimony, his journey, and the brothers went through a lot, and he's still standing. One thing I love about Ernest is his love for his mother. Ernest's love for his beloved mother. He's a great son, and I always have prayers for his beloved mother. And you know why also? Because Ernest also have great love for our beloved mother. For my brother Paul Anthony, my brother B. Fine, the, full, the three full force brothers. Ernest sometimes would call my mother just to say hello, uh, send nice videos dedicated to my mother, and I would show her. And Ernest, I can never, ever forget that from you, my brother. So we be boomeranging give gives to one another man i love you with all my heart my brother this tribute is for you and we're going to end it right now with some of this theme song from the 70s from your show that you love just sit right back and you'll hear a tale Oops, oh that was Gilligan's Island I mean, <laughs> theme song of the 70s From this show of yours Love Exciting and new Oops, that's Love Boat, my bad I mean, <laughs> I mean This song right here <laughs> 